What happened, little kitty? Kitty bit her cheek. Oh, no. You've got to be careful while chewing. If you're not, you might end up with a mouth ulcer. A vulture? <laughs> not vultures. Ulcers. They're small, painful spots that can pop up inside your mouth. Want to know more about them? Great. Let me explain by answering what causes mouth ulcers. Zoom in. Imagine this. You're sipping a tangy lemonade and suddenly, ouch! A tiny sting in your mouth ruins everything. You check in the mirror and spot a small round bump that wasn't there before. Well, you've just met a mouth ulcer. And what are they? Mouth ulcers, also known as canker sores, are small, painful, round or oval spots with a white, yellow or greyish center and a red inflamed border. They can appear inside the mouth, on your cheeks, lips, gums, tongue or even the roof of your mouth. While they are not dangerous or contagious, they can make eating, drinking and even talking uncomfortable. So, what causes these annoying little guys? A lot of things actually. One of the most common reasons is accidental biting. Yes, that moment when you're chewing gum and jump. You catch the side of your cheek. Braces, sharp edged teeth, or even brushing too hard can also injure your mouth and trigger ulcers. But it's not just about accidents. Stress is another big villain. Got a big exam coming up? Your body might decide to throw in a mouth ulcer just for fun. Hormonal changes, especially in teens, can also contribute. And if your diet lacks certain vitamins such as B12, iron or folic acid, that could also be part of the problem. Now, let's talk about food. Some people crave acidic or spicy foods like citrus fruits, tomatoes or chips with extra chilies, which can set off ulcers. So if your mouth feels like it's on fire, after snacking, it might be more than just flavor. The good news, most mouth ulcers are harmless and go away on their own in a week or two. But during that time, the pain can be sharp and persistent, especially when your favorite snacks are involved. To help them heal faster, you can try some simple home remedies. Rinsing with salt water, using over-the-counter gels, or sticking to soft, bland foods can make things more bearable. And definitely, drink lots of water. Staying hydrated helps your body recover faster. If the ulcer doesn't go away after two weeks or keeps coming back like a bad sequel, it might be time to visit a doctor or dentist. Sometimes, recurring ulcers can be a sign of something more serious, like an allergy, digestive issue, or even an autoimmune condition. So, what's the best way to deal with mouth ulcers? Prevent them. Eat a balanced diet, stay calm during stressful times, and be gentle with your oral hygiene. Oh, and maybe go easy on that second packet of sour candy. In the end, mouth ulcers may be tiny, but they sure know how to make a big fuss. Knowing what they are and how to handle them means you can show them the door before they overstay their welcome. Trivia time! Did you know there are three main types of mouth ulcers? 
namely minor ulcers, which are small and heal without scarring. Major ulcers, which are large, deeper and may scar. And herpetiform ulcers, which appear in clusters or tiny sores and are often more painful. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Gali Pretino. Hope you learned something healing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. What's on your mind, Kitty? It's Mop Ulsa, a good excuse to skip school. Hmm, never mind. <laughs>